Hey y'all, so today I'm going to show you how I achieve this festival inspired look using a full lace wig. Yes, sis, it's a wig. So this is a 20 inch full lace wig from Her Given Hair in the texture curly. Disclaimer, I did bleach the knots with bleach and 20 volume and then I toned it with Wella T18 and 20 volume. So first thing I'm gonna do is make a center part right in the front of the wig. Next, I'm making an ear to ear parting. Before you start to see that wig cap, you'll see it once you start doing the parting. Now I'm creating a forward rectangle shape right in the center using some mousse to reduce the frizz and making sure to leave out that baby hair. Now using some edge control, I'm gonna make a straight back braid and secure it with a rubber band. Now right on the side of that braid, I'm making an identical section. Again, using edge control to control frizz and pulling out those baby hairs. Now I'm gonna clip that out of the way and create another identical section on the other side of the center braid. Again, using that edge control and taking out the baby hairs. And so far we have three rectangle sections. Now on both sides of that center braid, I'm gonna braid the side sections forward. Being sure to braid all the way down for these and I won't be securing these with rubber bands. Now on the side of the wig, going towards the ear, I'm gonna split the section in half and I'm gonna clip one side out of the way and then proceed by taking those baby hairs out. Now I'm gonna braid all the way down and I'm gonna make another braid right on the side of that. Again, braiding all the way down. So this is where we're at so far. Now on the other side, I'm just gonna do the same exact thing. When I'm done braiding, I end up with this. Now taking those two forward braids and clipping them out of the way, I'm gonna create shorter baby hairs and I'm just gonna use a razor to do this. Next, I'm taking the left forward braid and looping it to the right forward braid and anchoring it down with a hairpin, then securing it with a rubber band, attaching it to the center braid. Now I'm taking the right braid and doing the same exact thing. Next, I'm using some gold hair jewels to jazz up the look and strategically placing them over the rubber bands. And I'm also using them to anchor the braids in the front to cover the ear tabs as well. Next, I'm making a high ponytail, including the ends of those braids. And then I'm taking a piece of that ponytail and braiding it. And then with that braid, I'm gonna wrap it around the base of the ponytail and I'm gonna secure it with the hairpin. To redefine those curls, I'm gonna spray some water onto the hair to dampen it really well, and then I'm gonna use some mousse to define the curls and just rake it through. Now to set the baby hair, I'm gonna mix some water and add some mousse to it, and I'm gonna comb it and mold it flat to the head in a similar way that I'd like to wear it on myself. And I'm also gonna apply some mousse to the frizzy areas as well and then allow the wig to dry overnight. Now for my hair, I'm just gonna cornrow it roughly into four braids and then put it in a low bun. To install the wig, I just wanna let you know that I did already have an elastic band attached to this wig and that is super important to keep it really flat to the head. Now that the wig is on, I'm gonna mist the baby hairs with some water to reactivate that mousse, and then I'm gonna use a little bit of gel to mold them to my liking. And feel free to go all out with this step because it not only hides the lace, but it also adds that festive flair to the look. Next, I'm using some foundation and a makeup brush to apply to the partings of the wig where needed. And since the knots were already bleached, I really didn't need to go all out with this step.
Next, I'm dampening a very small makeup brush and applying some brown eyeshadow to touch up any areas where I got foundation on the hair. This step is super important and if you skip it and you just so happen to put some foundation on the hair, it's gonna look very, very unnatural. And when I'm done, this is what we've got, a fun and festive yet natural looking wig. This look is perfect for the season because as you know, it is festival season. And comment down below, which festival will you be attending this season? I don't know about you, but I'm definitely gonna be at Essence. Well, I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it to be helpful. If you did, go ahead and subscribe to my channel for more videos like this. Also, be sure to check out the details on this wig from Her Given Hair, which will be down below in the description box, so be sure to check it out. Until then, I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.